150 children, one school on a winter's day. Once again, on telephone conversation manners. Can you tell me some of the points that you should remember when you are um, using the telephone? Thinking along the courtesy line, Arnold. Do you know I did a verse that says, if you wish to be happy all the day, make someone else happy. That is the way. Don't put your hands by your face, will you? Put your hands. Let me see how many you can put your hands right on the desk nicely. That's nice. That looks better that way. Very much better. Is everyone ready now to hear a nice story about Christmas? Because very, very soon now, it's going to be Christmas, and we want to get all ready for Christmas, don't we? And you know what? It's going to be somebody's birthday Christmas time. It's going to be the birthday of Jesus, that's right. And we want to be ready, and we want to have presents for him, don't we? So we want to give him presents of kindness and little sacrifices that we make sometimes and buy a little present and give it to somebody that's poor, yeah. So we're going to go over our little recitation that tells us about Christmas. Would you stand up now nicely? That's good. We're going to say the little recitation. Long, long ago. Right now, when you celebrate Christmas, remember what Christmas is. Christmas means Christ's Mass. Now we've got several days in the calendar which are known as Masses. Candle Mass and Michael Mass. It's the old day for a feast day. The old word. And Christmas means the Feast of Christ. One afternoon, one afternoon after school, there was a funny sight at David Green's farm. David was marching around blowing a horn. Mrs. Christie did not like to see flames and smoke so close to the dry old trees. She walked up with the boys and eaten their lunch 
and have sat on the fire to put it out. It's right. David says he is a funny trick. that produces more food than any other uh, is, what did we say? Millet. It's in the northern regions, up in the uh, humid continental area. But further south, they can grow another cereal crop, which is, what is it the Chinese grow? Rice. This has become the rice bowl of the world. And they grow rice uh, wherever it is possible there. Now, the person who answers should remember her role in courtesy for answering the telephone. What should she do, the person who answers it? More hands? All right, Gordon. Say, say who it is. To say who it is immediately who is answering, and that saves time because always keep in mind the telephone is not only for you, there are many other people who use the telephone and you have to consider them. Because it is a day when we get hope. It's happy. And therefore we celebrate. We have parties. We have presents. And we have lots of fun. But the first thing, the very first thing, is it is Christ's birthday. You say thank you for Christ and then afterwards have fun. Now, we all tend to forget. And instead we say Christmas is the day for Santa Claus. Santa Claus was a real person. His one name wasn't Santa Claus, it was St. Nicholas. And the reason why he is associated with Christmas is because he loved children. He was a bishop, a bishop in Poland who lived over a thousand years ago. And there was a famine in Poland. In other words, people were starving. They were losing, they were, had no food at all. And as a result, people were eating anything. And St. Nicholas, when he was alive, he was a bishop, he was traveling through the country, and he stopped at an inn. And they gave him a meal, a dish of meat. And he asked them where they got this meat from. Because there was no meat in the country. And they told him. It was meat, all right. It was children, human meat. They said they got plenty in the back. Children were cheap. People were starving, they'd sell their children so they could stay alive. Now, St. Nicholas loved children. And he didn't like the idea of anyone dying, especially children, in that way. And so he went round the back of the inn where these children's bodies were lying in a barrel. And he made a miracle with God's help. He brought those children back to life. That's who Santa Claus is. A man who loved children so much that he dared God to make a miracle for him and God, who also loves children so much, did that miracle for him.
And if you had a rough time, well, you'd do a better job. You can't, some of you can't do any worse than your parents did. <coughs> you should always try and do better. Give your children the Christmas you would have liked to have had. That's what Christmas is. Children's Day. The day for children, the day for God when he was a child. See there, no way. Eh? You see anything you want to buy? Eh? Anything there you want to buy? Eh? Why? Oh, oh, come on, you don't see anything there. Come on, come on. You're not going to buy anything. <laughs> and God bless you. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, Thank you. 
Last Friday before Christmas, those who can go home, go. The school is left to the 20 or 30 or 40 who remain behind.
Well, I've been here since knee high, and and I enjoy drawing here, you know. I consider it home, a second home. Oh, sometimes I find it rather, you know, a bit lonely, like, you know, because you're so used to, you know, the big crowd and all the noise that, you know, when the kids leave, you know, you kind of have to get used to, you know, the loneliness. You know, after grade 12, I wanted to go in for training to be a nurse. He registered me. Oh, Veronica. Guy, Veronica, you know, she's also wanted to um, go into the religious life. Like, you know, she usually talks about it to me, and I encourage her on, of course. <laughs> well, I guess when she started, you know, seeing the works that the sisters were doing for us and, and what a good job they were doing with us. I guess she wanted to be one herself. <laughs> How far along do you want to go in school? Up to grade 12. And then what do you think you'd like to do? I mean, I'll try to learn to be a sister. I sure like to be a sister, but I don't know if I'll make it. Why, why do you feel you'd like to be a sister? Well, so I could help the people in the world and teach them about God and all. An act of faith. For Jesus, I believe that I have received thy flesh to eat and thy blood to drink, because thou hast said it, and thy word is true. An act of adoration. O Jesus, my God, my Creator, I adore thee because from thy hands I came, and with thee I am to be happy forever. An act of humility. O Jesus, I am but dust and ashes, and yet thou hast come to me, and my poor heart may speak to thee. An act of love. Sweet Jesus, I love thee. I love thee with all my heart. Thou knowest that I love thee and wish to love thee daily more and more. An act of thanksgiving. My good Jesus, I thank thee with all my heart. How good, how kind thou art to me, sweet Jesus. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. An act of offering. O oh, Jesus, receive my poor offering. Jesus, thou hast given thyself to me and now let me give myself to thee. I give thee my body that would be chaste and pure. I give thee my soul that would be
For this Vancouver film presentation, photography was by John Seal. Lighting, Jerry O'Connor. Sound, Norman Rosine. Film editing, Arla Sari. And the director was George Robertson. The CBC is indebted to the children, staff, and teachers of the Kamloops Indian Residential School for their help in making this film.